Hello, my friends. I'm going to show you an easy method of extracting oil from herbs, along with producing hydrosol or floral water, which has many uses. First, let's construct the still. This is six feet of quarter inch copper coil. And copper coil is a, an, an annealed, so, which means softened. So it's a softened copper tubing. And I'm using my propane bottle here. And I will use this as a form. there and now we want to space these and right there this is now being real gentle so that I don't put a kink in it. That's the cooling tube. This will exit the uh, cooling container. This is the input. The steam will come in here. And as it gets pushed through, it'll be cooled by the water, by the ice water. And then it'll be dripping out of this end. Here's the coolant bucket oil will go into and for the outflow of the tube I have this rubber grommet. This is a quarter inch grommet. It will slide onto the tube and if we get our measurements right it'll be watertight. This end goes to the pressure cooker. This is my patch of lemongrass that I'm going to harvest. This is a 16-quart pressure cooker. 
and I'm going to use the the framework in there that's going to hold the um, stems the lemongrass it'll hold it above the liquid I'm going to add two quarts of either distilled water or what I have is reverse osmosis which I think is better to use than the distilled okay now the water will go in here and what I have is a pizza tray with holes this will go over top this will separate the water from the lemongrass stems let me add the water after the water and we add the tray lemongrass will go on that I'm going to clean the dead stalk dead leaves out of here compact that. Put as much as we can in here. Here's the whole batch packed in pretty tight. Now the lid, the gasket is supposed to be soaked for about 20 minutes and then secure the lid right there this is going to be the exhaust and that will go on like that now we focus on the bucket this is the coolant we're going to fill this with ice and water now whatever heat that we make we have to cool it down and we're going to collect the water, the steam vapor, which will be mixed with the oils and it also it will be the hydrosol, which is the floral water, the water that comes out of the tissue of the plant. Now the water that mixes in here does not have to be distilled or the reverse osmosis. I'm just using tap water.
you can see on the surface the beads of oil sitting on top of the hydrosol. There's about a quart and a half of hydrosol. Here's the oil that we produced. <clears throat> it was a very easy process, has a lot of potential for a lot of homegrown medicines. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.